what's up guys in this tutorial we learn more on arrays uh, so if you don't know the basic concept of arrays please do see my uh, previous lecture on arrays okay in my uh, last tutorial we had seen uh, declaring a declaring and initialization of arrays the type of array we, uh, we saw in the last tutorial that was in something like this int arr of 100 uh, uh, these were known as linear arrays or one dimensional arrays uh, suppose that you have a you want to store the coordinates of a polygon suppose a quadrilateral suppose I have a quadrilateral with uh, coordinates 12 comma 1 the second coordinate is 2 comma suppose 7 the third coordinate is suppose 9 comma 9 and my fourth coordinate is uh, 1 comma suppose 10 I don't know if this points actually form a quadrilateral but assume for now that these four are the coordinates of a quadrilateral so how do I store them uh, here there are here there is a sequence of uh, as in coordinates you don't have any specific data type or a sequence of a specific data type like integer or a character you have a sequence of coordinates uh, to store them them as arrays you need to use a uh, multi-dimensional arrays okay in this case we have a a sequence of coordinates as in there are four numbers so there is a sequence of coordinates in linear array we had a sequence of num in int or char here we have a sequence of coordinates and each coordinates has a uh, two parts that is an x and the y uh, y part or the x and the y coordinate so we need a two dimensional array uh, so how do we initialize the two dimensional array okay so its type is int since all these are integers so I'll have int that is a return type return type then I'll have the name of the array array in, I'll just uh, write it this way array name and then two uh, opening and closing square braces since we want two dimensional arrays so it will be row size row underscore size and column underscore size okay now for this case uh, the number of rows would be equal to fourth one two three and four we have four coordinates so the number of rows is four and the column size is two as in the two x and the y coordinate uh, so I'll define this array as int suppose I'll give it a name a rectangle or, or quadrilateral quad and then I'll have the row size is 4 and the column size is 2 so this is the way of I'll say defining a 2d array okay uh, now we saw how to define a 2d array but how do we initialize it as in give it all these values uh, so you must uh, write this way int quad uh, that's a return type is int quad is my name of the array again 4 comma 2 4 and 2 is equal to now it's the same way we did for linear arrays we had a opening and a closing curly brace so similarly we would have here a opening and a closing curly brace so now think this of as a uh, linear array as in this uh, to be the first element this should be the second element this should be the third element and this should be the fourth element so now we have a four element uh, array so uh, for four elements you must have four different curly braces separated by a, a comma now in each of these curly braces you will have the coordinates as in the x and the y coordinate so the first one is 12 comma 1 the second one is 2 comma 7 the third one is 9 comma 9 and the fourth one is 1 comma 10 so actually it's quite similar to a linear array you can think of it as uh, in linear array we had four int, int values 
but here we have four coordinates so this is the first coordinate the second coordinate the third and the fourth here the third one and the fourth one so when okay, this way we initialize a 2d array initialize a 2d array okay now let's take a similar example uh, suppose that you have a matrix a 2d matrix something like this 2 3 1 you must have done in your uh, school maths matrices so it's a, it's a matrix suppose 2 3 1 a 3 by 3 matrix okay 1 6 8 and 0 9 maybe 7 so this is a matrix so now how would you represent this again uh, this has two dimensions maybe this is the first dimension that this one is the first dimension and this is the second dimension so you can think of it as, as a two dimensional so we can represent this matrix using a 2d array so I'll have int matrix mat and what's my row size and the column row and the column size are both three one two three this is the column I mean the row one two and this is the column so I am having 3 cross 3 and now I'll initialize it so I have 3 rows so I'll have 3 curly braces here and inside the 3 curly braces the first curly brace will have 2 comma 3 comma 1 the second would have 1 comma 6 comma 8 and the third brace would have 0 comma 9,7 so in this way you uh, initialize this 2d array in this way you can have an n-dimensional array uh, so maybe for an n-dimensional array you if it's of the type int so you'll have int arr suppose there are three dimensions or four uh, I'll just write for three it would be better suppose I have three 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 so I'll have something like this and inside each of these three I'll have three uh, curly braces so this would be an mm, a 3d array a three dimensional array I'll just increase its size yeah so this would be my 3d array as in uh, it's a curly uh, the out outside curly brace and inside it has three elements like this and inside each has three elements so this would be an example of my three dimensional array okay and inside this I would have three integers because it's three comma three comma three so I'll have one two and three similarly for each so you can have an n dimensional array there's no limitation to that okay so now let's write a program to take an input of a two di uh, two dimensional array maybe a two cross two or two dimensional array and just print it on a screen so I'll just open my new file input of 2 cross 2 array I'll write to start 2 array and print so I'll quickly write my basic structure hash include uh, std io dot h int main and it would return 0 okay so I need a 2 cross 2 array so I'll have int arr of 2 cross 2 okay uh, so now I want to take the input of a 2 cross 2 array uh, suppose yeah my 2 cross 2 array would look something like this I'll just okay 2 3 
and one suppose four. Uh, suppose this is my two cross two array, and I want to take the input of this. So I'll have two for loops. The first for loop will be running for the number of rows. So uh, I'll have the first for loop for the number of rows. So for int i is equal to zero, i less than two, since there are two rows, i plus plus. Okay. This is my first for loop. Now the second for loop is that for each row I have two elements. So for each row I must run now for each row. So for j is equal to zero, j less than two, j plus plus. Since there were two columns. So this is my outer for loop and this is my inner for loop. The inner for loop means for each row I must run the loop uh, two times that is the number of columns is two. So I will take the input ARR of IJ okay it's this would be my input I should uh, take my input in this so I will have a scanf statement here scanf percentage D comma and I'll copy this out. Yeah. So this would be my input. Okay. So now let's print my array as in the 2D array. So again, I'll need two for loops. I'll just copy this. Okay. Uh, by the way, it's ambassador here. Scan of takes the address. Okay. And in this part, I'll have a printf statement. I'll have print f okay percentage uh, d and arr of i comma j so arr of i and j i represents my row number and j represents my column number so now after each row I need to break the line as in move on to the next line so that we get the representation of an a matrix so I'll have a backslash in here I'll save this file. I'll give it a name, suppose matrix. Yeah. So let's compile and run our file. Uh, it's giving an error. Yeah. It's int j must be initialized as an sorry declared. We had declared j. Uh, again yeah uh, j must be declared so in j uh, yeah let's run a file again so compile and run okay it's asking for the input uh, so I'll have four input as in two one five six uh, for two cross two matrix so it's giving me two one five six uh, let's present it in a bit better way so I'll have a printf statement Uh, it would have enter elements of the matrix and here I'll have a printf statement your matrices okay so your matrix is and I'll have a backslash in here and a backslash in here okay so now let's execute a file compile and run uh, okay printf compile and run okay so enter the elements of the matrix suppose I want 1 5 2 and 3 so yeah your matrix is 1 5 2 3 uh, so yeah that's it for uh, this tutorial see you in the next one please do subscribe to our channel like our video and do provide your suggestions for our improvement thank you